If you were by chance wondering what humanity would do when given access to the most advanced facial tracking technology available, you now have your answer. iPhone 10 has an all new display. It's called the Super Retina display. Now with the display going edge to edge and top to bot bot bottom, there's no more home button. The iPhone 10, your iPhone is locked until you look at it and it recognizes you. We call this face ID. Every time you glance at your iPhone 10, it detects your face with the flood of new illuminator, even in the dark. So our team created something called an emoji. These are emojis that you control with your face. Hey, uh, Tim, I'm not sure what the protocol is here, but I'd like to call dibs on the box for my favorite emoji. And now with iPhone 10 and its true depth camera, it really delivers a breakthrough in the photos you can take for selfies. Because now with selfies, you can take portrait mode photos as well. All this performance, I'm sure as you expect, does come with a hit to battery life. So I think it's important to tell you that we've increased it. Inside iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, is a brand new chip, and this is a breakthrough performance in a mobile device. We call it A11 Bionic. People are gonna love taking pictures with the iPhone 8 camera. It has an all new 12 megapixel sensor. It's larger and faster. iPhone 8 Plus has two new sensors in its dual camera. The team has come up with a new feature called portrait lighting. The dual cameras in the ISP sense the scene. They create a depth map, they separate the subject from the background, and then using machine learning, it creates facial landmarks and actually changes the lighting of the contours over your face. There's a third category of use of the camera that's gonna become increasingly important in our mobile devices, and that's augmented reality. You can use AR Kit with this app to actually superimpose the map on top of the sky as you're looking at it around you. And now with iPhone 8, with its glass back, we're enabling the freedom of wireless charging. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. <laughs> Hi, Deidre. Hey, I'm calling you from the new Steve Jobs Theater. Why don't we pull in some video and show everybody where you are? <laughs> now you can go for a run with just your watch and still be connected with Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music. You can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. Um, Apple TV 4K is incredible. And it starts with two big advancements in picture quality. First is 4K. There's an even bigger advancement that's more important, and it's called High Dynamic Range, or HDR. We've been working with leading streaming providers like Netflix to bring their 4K HDR titles to Apple TV. And later this year, Amazon Prime Video with all of their 4K HDR titles and originals as well. Now later this year, Apple TV will do even more because we're bringing live sports so you'll never miss a game. Thank you so much for spending the morning with us. Thank you.